<laughs> All the artists of all time is garbage. Oh, you came in with the energy. Okay. You came in strong, did you? Make sure you hit that like button. We about to go in, though. All right, it's 8.59. One more minute. Then we going in. All right, look. It's 9 o'clock. This is officially... Let me go ahead and get right. You know what I'm saying? This is officially the first episode of TNV, man. Thursday night vibe. No, Thursday night vent. Oops. So look, check this out, man. Before we even get started, man, hey, if you if if you of age, we got a fresh bottle of uh, Fireball too. So if you of age, make sure you can you know partake with me on this Thursday. You hear that? You hear that? Let's see. What are you talking about? How I feel. <laughs> All right, so check this out, man. This is called Swig Time. Anytime we about to take a shot, hopefully you got something to drink with you. But look, you got to be of age, you feel me? So look, man, this is the first episode of TNV Thursday Night Vent. Let's get it. Mm -mm. Ah, we getting twisted tonight. I, this is the first episode. I'm going in tonight. You feel me? Who we got in here? So what I'm going to do as soon as I come in for the first people that's in here, that's in here showing love. I'm gonna go ahead and shout them out. So look, who we got in here? We got Climbing Ivy. We got Notorious White 56. We got Nick. We got, um, yeah, so that's who we got in here right now. We got a couple other people they just watching though, you feel me? We got Coco Monroe. All right. Hey, this is about to be lit though, cause I'm excited. Cause uh, we got the hookah right here. We can't forget that, you know what I'm saying? So, this watermelon flavor too. That watermelon tastes real good. But we're going to go ahead and get into like, we're going to start it off. Let me just break down what the podcast is going to be. The podcast is basically about, it's about my, my, my supporters, my followers, my subscribers, um, giving them a way to interact with me. We're going to have these topics. We're going to talk about them. We're going to go back and forth. And it's basically like a real interactive type of podcast. It ain't just all about me. I want to hear what y'all got to say. You feel me? So what I'm gonna do after this live stream is uh, ended, I'm gonna delete the live stream and I'm gonna also re-upload the broadcast because I'm recording also on my on my camera. So we're gonna do it right, man. We got the setup, we got the microphone, we got the hookah, we got the fireball, and we got the vibes. So look, watermelon, they say, yeah, is that weed that you can hear? <laughs> nah, it ain't no weed, man, it ain't no weed. So, uh, shout out to my boy Steve. He just came in here. It's going down. Fire Squad. Hey, we already done took a shot too. If you if you late, if you just coming in, what we gonna do is um, where's the quote of the week? This is the quote of the week. We gonna always start off with a quote of the week. It's gonna be something like motivation or something like that for people to to think about. And I wanna hear what y'all think about the quote of the week as well. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it as well. Shout out to my boy Ricky Lee. He also on the check in. One of the first people that was in here. Salute to you. He watching via Facebook. Shout out to you, bro. I see you. All right, so the quarter of the week this week goes like this. You can't just hope for happy endings. You must believe in them, then do the work and take the risk. I'm going to read that one more time because I want to hear what y'all think. Before we get into the BS, because we're going to talk about uh, Takashi 69 We're going to talk about Chance the Rapper. We're going to talk about who is the best rapper of this era, of this generation. And I definitely want to hear what y'all talking about, what y'all think. So before we get into that, like I said, we're going to always hit them with the quote. The quote of the week, I want to hear what y'all think about this as well. You can't just hope for happy endings. You must believe in them, then do the work and take the risk. So... <laughs> Ricky already said Drake is the best rapper of this generation. I already know. I already know he liked Drake. But before we get there, we're going to get there. Believe me, we're going to get there. But check this out. So in this quote, to me, basically, this quote basically means like, you can't just hope for happy endings. You must believe in them, then do the work and take the risk. You can't just have these dreams and these aspirations and then not put the work in behind it and then expect for you to have this great thing of success. It's not going to happen that way. You feel me? Like, so inside, inside of the live chat, I want you to tell me what you think that quote mean. And as far as like, when you, you go into these new levels, you got these dreams and these aspirations, 
What is the work that it takes? You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to put in that work? The quote, all right, I'm gonna read it again. It say, you can't just hope for happy endings. You must believe in them, then do the work and, and take the risk. So to me, like I said, you can't just have these dreams and aspirations and just think that you're just gonna pop off just from you sitting at the crib, sitting there thinking and dreaming about these things that you wanna do, right? So with that being said, you gotta believe in these dreams and also, you gotta put the work in. You not gonna get anywhere if you're not putting in the work, man. So many people is lazy, man. So many people want these things and they ain't about to do nothing to get it. They just want somebody to hand it to them. And that's not how it goes, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put that work in. You gotta you gotta do the research. The people that's in the genre that you wanna get into, you gotta research the top people and you gotta see what they did, what things that they did. And you gotta also maneuver and, and learn from them, but also put your spin on it. So in the chat, what y'all think? That's definitely a true statement. Nothing comes easy. If it was everyone, if it was, everyone would be doing it. People are on top mostly because they sacrifice and put the work in. That's what Michael Davis said, and that's a fact. Majority, 99% of the people that's on top put the work in. Basically, you're not getting anywhere if you're not willing to put in the work Foster your talents, grow, push yourself. I agree. So we on the same page with that, man. We on the same page with that. We all kind of get what, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we want to get to these these grand places, these big dreams that we have, but you got to put the work in. If not, you're not going to get nowhere. So that was the quote of the week. Let me see what my boy Ricky said um, via Facebook. Let's see what he said, man. Cause I want to keep him involved as well because he's one of my biggest supporters. You feel me? He said, um, bro, uh, self sacrifice to be happy while grinding to get happy. To me, I think that's what it means self sacrifice to be happy while grinding to get happy. That's a mouthful. You feel me? So that was the quote of the week this week, man. But we're gonna go ahead and move forward to this chance to rapper EP. Y'all let me, have y'all heard the Chance the Rapper EP? I'm gonna need you to freestyle now. <laughs> I'm not freestyling on here, man. Have y'all heard the Chance the Rapper EP? I was just bumping that joint before we got on here. Steve said he heard it. Nick said he heard it. Illuminati don't want any lazy <laughs> You hear, okay. What do y'all think about the Chance the Rapper EP? You know what I'm saying? I was just bumping to it. My favorite song off of that Chance the Rapper EP. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, cause we gotta we gotta do this right, man. Swig time, man. Swig time. We gotta I gotta get loose in here, man. I don't know about y'all, y'all watching. I gotta get loose, man. This gonna be the uncut version where y'all come in here, y'all chill, we vibe, we get to talk, we get to, you know what I'm saying? You know, like we're gonna be real in here, you know what I'm saying? So swig time, baby. <sighs> Haven't heard it, but your album. I haven't heard, but heard your album and loved it. Oh yeah. Make sure that y'all check my album out as well. Shout out to Ricky, because he said he heard the album. The album is dope, appreciate that. Pour up, you already know what it is. <laughs> so um, yeah, Security, that was a dope record. Uh, I obviously she liked the Security record. I like the Security record as well. My favorite joint is the Wa Wally, Wally joint. I think it's called Wally. I wasn't really feeling it. I gotta listen again to see if it grows on me. Okay, so. Steve said he really wasn't, really wasn't feeling it. If you went here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you knew. Make sure you do that, you know what I'm saying? Nick say you need a shirt, I got you. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. DM me, we can get you hooked up with some merchandise. Talk about your dream. <laughs> hey, look, man, so my, like I said, my favorite joint on there was Wally, or Wally, whatever. And uh, the, the security record, that joint was dope too. Shout out to him. Oh man, swig time, man, swig time. We. I told you, we're going in. This is the first episode. We got to set the tone right. You feel me? This is the TNV first episode of Thursday Night Vent. Shout out to Fire Squad for actually coming up with the idea of the name. These my people, man. And uh, I'm glad y'all are part of what's going on tonight. Ah, let's get it, baby. We ain't playing tonight, man. Wale, y'all fuck with that. 
Look at Instagram. I've been following you. I can't look at it right now. Crazy Chicago era. I miss Wally Cam. Great parties and memories. I'm sipping slow. I, I got it. We can't. We, I feel I done took three shots. How many people done took three shots with me? If y'all in here, y'all of age, how many people in here done took three shots already? I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. They tell they telling me I'm in here drinking slow. Come on, fire squad, man. Got you, got you. But um, I feel like with um, Chance the Rapper dropping this EP, obviously you know he, he about to come up with something, come out with something um, in the near future because it was only four records. Y'all know how it is because you know Drake, before he dropped his uh, album Scorpion, he came out with the um, the scary, what was it, Scary Hours? Scary Hours uh, EP was only two tracks though. It had, um, it had God's Plan and it had Diplomatic Immunity. That's before he came out with the full album. And I don't even think Diplomatic, yeah, Diplomatic Immunity didn't even make the album. Bro, you scared to drink straight out of the bottle. You shot <laughs> Talk about you and Brandon. Yeah, Scary Hours. Um, what you talking about? You talking about uh, the record me and Brandon did? Chance and Gambino about to drop. Oh my God. Hold on, what? Chance and Gambino about to drop a, a joint project? I'm completely here for that one. I, I'm going to be one of the first ones like, hey, I'm downloading that immediately. You feel me? Chance the Rapper and, and Childish Gambino? Man. You already know that's just going to be straight fire. You know what I'm saying? It said they've been teasing, teasing it. Just know if they drop that joint, I'm here for it. All right, so look, we're gonna move on, man. We're gonna go ahead and hop on um, the story with uh, Takashi69, man. Y'all know the dude, Takashi69, one of the most, I don't wanna say, is he one of the most popping rappers right now? Y'all let me, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I want to say it. Like, all his records is hitting top 100 billboard. I mean, so what, is, what does that tell you? You know what I'm saying? You waiting on Will Smith's new album? Takashi 69 so you know, um, he had went to, uh, he had got locked up once he got back off of uh, his European tour. Swig time. We going in one more time, man. One more time, man. We going in. If y'all ain't never seen my, my shot glass, it actually got an L on it. And they got the fire. Yeah, let's get it. <sighs> All right. So Takashi 69 he got off his uh, European tour. As soon as he landed in New York, them boys said, uh, come here. Where you going? Locked them up, right? Locked them up. I think they sent them to Texas. I don't know where they sent them, but oh, yeah, they sent them to New York. They sent them to Rikers, Rikers Island. But he got out. But the story, if you uh, haven't heard, DJ Academics was talking about Takashi 69 was locked up, and when he was locked up, <laughs> the dudes was in there like they was in there uh, talking about him and, and, and trashing him. So they were saying like, "We're gonna get you," you know, just all that type of stuff. And they said that he was actually like afraid, man. What do y'all think about Takashi 69? Being one of the biggest, boldest. Hey, Treyway, man. Treyway, you know what I'm saying? What's up, blood? What's up, blood? I'm pulling up in your hood. I'm pulling up in your city. They say he was locked up at Rikers for like 45 minutes. The inmates in there started getting at him, started taunting him, started, you know, basically talking shit to him. And he was like, yo, he froze up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, they were saying like he was actually afraid. So what y'all think about that, man? Like, because we all know he a troll. Undoubtedly, yes, he is. Still a big ass troll. That's true. Popular doesn't necessarily mean good, and that's also true. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be talking all this stuff because you know somebody going to try you eventually. You know what I'm saying? That's bound to happen. You can't be in here popping this and popping that and thinking that people ain't going to try you. Especially, you know what era we in when people is on that whole clout chasing thing. You know what I'm saying? They trying to clout chase. They trying to get a come up off of your name and stuff like that. So you got to be careful. <laughs> Ricky said he want to try his Fruity Pebble cell. <laughs> hey, it, it's crazy because uh, what they say, let me see what they say. 
he is all talk in my opinion. His fans are regarded like him. Takashi six nine, bro, get off six nine. He's just a front, plain and simple, all bark no bite. I hated it when he came to Chicago. Shake my head, made us look like some fools trapping around. <laughs> all right, so look, man, check this out. So Takashi six nine, right? You got to think about it. He doing all this to get attention, right? So me being an artist myself, that's one of the main things that you want to get. You want to get eyeballs, you want to get attention for whatever you got going on. Like, you know I just dropped my album last month. You can check it out on all platforms. June 23rd, it came out. It's called Black Matter. You can go ahead and listen to it on all streaming platforms and support your boy. But so let's just say, right, we on this live right now. We got uh, six people in here right now at the moment. This is the first episode, right? We got six people in here at the moment. Imagine if I was pulling all these stunts and we got, I seen I seen a live that he went on. He had like 300,000 people in his live. Imagine if, you know what I'm saying, you got that control to have that many people in your live and you tell them, yo, you just dropped the album. You just dropped the single. So people looking at him like he crazy, but you know, trolling in this area is what people do. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one second.